Hey guys, this is Ish at Ish's Tactical Solutions and today we're going to talk about why to use an HK. This is an HK USP 45CT. Uh, it's part of the USP family that HK makes and uh, it's been around for quite a while. They now make a, a newer type of pistol, HK does, but I wanted to talk about the USP uh, specifically because of the different things that I like about the HK. Alright, the first part is, is we'll talk about the grip. The grip on an H&K is great, it's at the correct angle to where you feel like you're correctly coming out, getting that front side alignment side picture, okay? The other part is, is it is a little beefy, but everything to get a hold of it is perfect. Uh, you're able to get your safety and decocker and your slight, slight hitch release without any problems at all. Another important thing about uh, the H&K and the USP models is the weapon goes on safe with the hammer down and the weapon also will go on safe with the hammer up or caught. Okay, so uh, this is important because you can make a decision on which way you want to carry the gun and how you uh, prefer to carry the gun. So if you, uh, you're okay with the double action part, all right, come off safe, all right, engage your threat, all right, and you can do it that way, and put it in on, obviously it goes into a single action, all right, but if you wanted to carry it around with the hammer back, you can do so safely, just like a 1911, because it's on safe, and all you got to do is take it off safe, all right, engage your uh, threat or target, and, uh, you know, uh, the whole thing behind that is pretty simple for me, whichever one you do, train with. The other part is, is the decocker is a good decocker, all right, and it doesn't have that slop like a Beretta wheel or the uneasy feeling of a Beretta. So you take the decocker down, all right, uh, you're not going to have some type of uh, misfire or accidental fire from doing it. Uh, the other part that's great about these is their decocker and safety is not on the slide, all right, so you can get a hold of the slide without any issues. It also has one of the largest uh, trigger guards out there, and because of that, it is very, very easy to get inside there and get a hold of that trigger, all right? They have different uh, models out there. This one has a threaded barrel, all right? Uh, the most impressive thing uh, about the uh, H&K is that its uh, spring is set up. This is a 45, and I tell you what, it recoils like a nine millimeter, all right? Because of its size and because of how well the the uh, spring is set up in there, all right? It's a double spring, very stiff, all right? But, uh, I mean, like I said, the, the recoil is nothing. The nine millimeters that I shoot in HK is, it's almost like shooting a 22, the recoil, so, uh, so low. So, uh, these are just a few things that I wanted to talk about with the H&K. Uh, the H&K is a very, very, very reliable uh, pistol, weapon. Uh, I have never had a malfunction out of this one. So, uh, you know, just things to take into account if you ever want to get an H&K or what pistol you may be looking for, all right? I'm a very big fan of the H&K, and uh, they're great pistols to have, all right? Give us a like, subscribe, make us a favorite, God, family, country, all in that order, and thanks for watching.